I'm Masahiro Sakurai, the director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The hero from Dragon Quest is joining the battle, and that means I have some new information to share with you. Usually, we prepare a script for Nintendo Direct, and we have editors put various cuts together, but this time, I'd like to take more of a livestream approach and present it myself. Is this new? We don't have much of a budget for this. While I discuss, I'll be playing with the controller as well. I hope you enjoy it. But before we get into it, I should mention that the Dragon Quest series began in 1986. It's an iconic Japanese role-playing game. Wow, is that all? It wouldn't be an exaggeration okay. to say that Dragon Quest was what popularized RPGs in Japan. Hmm. Beyond that, it's a top-notch game that's become a cultural phenomenon. The latest Pac entry in the series is Dragon yeah. Quest XI S, echoes of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition, which is releasing soon on Nintendo Switch, so please look forward to it. Today, I'll be playing the development version of the ROM, so there may be parts where the camera seems different from the version you have at home. I hope you understand. Hmm. Here's a lineup of all four heroes. I think, to some, this scene alone might seem pretty astonishing. Oh, look, that's a this better link. This is the hero from Dragon Quest XI S, the one that's releasing soon. The 16-year-old was dubbed the Darkspawn, and he wields a weapon called the Supreme Sword of Light. Now for the hero from Dragon Quest III. This is the hero Erdrich, and he's 16 years old. He's equipped with Erdrich's sword. Actually, in 3 and 11, the hero's shield designs are almost identical, but we've changed them up a bit. It's all in the details. <laughs> Okay. Next, the hero from Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. This 17-year-old is the ancestor of the bride from Dragon Quest V, Hand of He's the older. Bride. He's equipped with the Zenithian sword. Lastly, the hero from Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King, an 18-year-old who isn't affected by the curse. <laughs> Munchie is in his pocket, and as a former royal guardsman, he's equipped with the Dragovian King Sword. That said, it may be a bit tough to distinguish them using just the name Hero. So if you want yeah. to refer to each of them individually, here are their names. The Hero from 11S is 11. The Hero from 3 <laughs> is Arusu. The Hero from 4 is Solo. And the Hero from 8 is 8. You can use these names <laughs> wow. to reference them if you'd like. Sure. Also, they each have a color variation. The coloring and design of these variations are based on characters from the series. Can you guess who they are? Not really, because I don't play the game. <laughs> this is actually the very first time that the heroes from the Dragon Quest series oh, have been able to fight each other. Okay. It was allowed to finally happen in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and for that, I am very grateful. Okay. Each hero has a different voice actor, and I'd like to introduce them now. Of course, in Japanese. Here they are. The hero from 11 is Mitsuki Saiga. This hero speaks in 11S, but the action in this game is different, so her voice acting needed a bit more oomph. The hero from 3 is played by Nobuyuki Hiyama. You might say the King of Braves is playing the hero, but he voiced Link in the original Super Smash Bros. and Super Smash Bros. Melee games, so you could say he was already a hero. He's definitely a pro, and out of all the voice actors, his recording session went the fastest. <laughs> like I said, says anything. The hero from 4 is voiced by Takeshi Kusao. He's a veteran voice actor, and asked for a lot of detail on the backstory of his character, and this has carried over into his performance. It looks like a Zora, I'm sorry. The hero from 8 is voiced by Yuki Kaji. It was apparently a dream of his to do voice work for the Super Smash Bros. and the Dragon Quest series, so he was happy to have both dreams come true at once. Lucky. The heroes from 3, 4, and 8 are being voiced for the first time in the series, and calling out the spell names is also the series first. There we go. Now, let's get a look at these fighters in action. <coughs> the animations are a bit more energetic than the standard sword users, since we aim to match the style of Akira Toriyama. 
Sometimes, a hero smash attack results in a critical hit. It happens at random, but when it does, you'll perform an extra strong attack. These critical hits actually match the look of the critical hits in various installments of the series. <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> so basically it's like Pokemon, eh? The hero is equipped with a shield, which can block various projectiles. His forward tilt is a shield bash attack that can also be used to block projectiles. Oh. Oh, trample. Okay. His neutral special is the Frizz family of spells. Frizz. Frizzle. And Caprizz. Okay. You can stop your charge in the middle by shielding, and then you can resume charging again. Then, you could store the full charge until you're ready to unleash it at any time. However, well, of course. even if you've charged up a Caprizz, nothing will happen if you don't have enough MP at the time, so be careful. <laughs> Hadouken! Hero side special produces zap type spells. Enter the command quickly for a zap, which is a good way to keep opponents in check. Hold it down a little longer for a zapple, which has a pretty good reach. And if you charge it up all the way, you'll let loose a zap. Each of these spells can use your sword with lightning to power up your attacks. Okay. Next is the whoosh family of spells, whoosh. which can be used for recovery. <laughs> Performing a short up special results in a whoosh. Charging it a little bit results in a swoosh. And charging it up all the way results in a kaswoosh. Kaswoosh. <laughs> You can only store a charge with frizz type spells. <laughs> a whoosh is fairly stunted, requiring only a little MP. A swoosh actually provides a bit more lateral movement. A kaswoosh allows you to recover even if you fall pretty far. Mm, cool. Takes up half your magic. Swoosh type spells can blow enemies into the air. But you can combo after that though, can you? That way you can interfere with opponents. Oh yeah, there's that. Next is Hero's down special, command selection. His down special pulls up a random list of commands. Hmm. Doing so allows you to use a spell or other move. Oomph simply raises your attack power. <laughs> With a fully charged smash attack. With the critical hit. This much damage. <coughs> now for Psycho. It increases the power of your next attack. Pretty cool. The difference between this one and Oomph is that it can only be used once, but the effect lasts until your attack finishes, even if you miss. Next up, Bounce. It reflects your opponent's spells and other projectiles. <laughs> if you both cast Bounce, this will happen. <laughs> the effect of the reflect will be exponential. I can see that. Ooh. Heal lets you reduce your damage percentage. Flame Slash can spread damage to a wide area in front of you. The Crackle Slash can freeze opponents. <laughs> nice. Accelerator significantly increases your speed. Kaboom sets off a mighty explosive spell. Snooze puts opponents to sleep. That way, you can follow it up with a beefy attack. Maybe something like Hatchet Man. And then there's Thwack. This fearsome spell could potentially KO an opponent in one hit. However, the <laughs> opponent's damage percentage will ultimately determine the effect. Wow. So, so if it's like damage death percentage sight. is low, it's less likely to activate. Zoom. This spell is well suited for recovery. As demonstrated, it lets you recover from anywhere, but you may hit your head on the ceiling. <laughs> Kaklang. When you cast a spell, you become impervious to attacks. But watch out for a Metal Slash. Metal Slash wow. has a skill that can KO a Metal Slash <coughs> in one hit. Yeah, with that Zoom one, well, someone can get a read off of that. Unpredictable effects. Oh, looks like it slowed me down. 
But not all of its effects are bad. Sometimes good things happen too. Magic first. As you can see, my MP is depleting rapidly because the spell uses all your remaining MP to deal massive damage. <laughs> what is that, Vegeta the super explosion? That will determine how effective it is. <laughs> and finally, Kamikaze. This spell produces an extremely powerful explosion, <coughs> but it also results in destruction. <coughs> he has many different special moves. In fact, of all the fighters, Hero has the highest number of them in the game. You can close the command selection before choosing a spell by pressing the R button. That way, you can try again and hope for a different set of spells. That's his final smash, oh, Giga Slash, and it's no mere Kazak. This move calls upon all the past protagonists to lend the hero their power for one mighty blow. So, Mega Man. This attack has a high vertical range, and if it's within four in-game meters, it will connect. Oh, it has 40? Mm -hmm. The command selection move is unlike any other in the game. It may be a bit hard to imagine how it works, so I'll fight a CPU opponent for a while. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. I'm fighting at Yggdrasil's altar. I'm the hero from 8, and the CPU is the hero from 4. The stage starts off on this platform, which begins to rise. Oh, start up like, like Halbert, but slower. You can use Frizz to keep opponents in check without charging. I'll use Zappo from a distance. Wish there was a way to charge your MP faster. The CPU's counterattacks are pretty good. I think I'll try a command selection. Snooze. Good stuff. <laughs> Kaboom. I am a little low on MP, so I'm going to attack to refill it. Oh. But meanwhile, the CPU filled up their final smash meter. I'm not going to let him use it. Alright, soccer, right? <laughs> Even though we don't know what level the CPU is. Ooh. Oh, critical hit. Heal. I'll go ahead and use Accelerato. And the final smash. Alrighty then. Got an Angel Boy in the background. I can finish him off. Nice. Cool. Oops. I used Hatchet Man, but ended up blocking a projectile with it. Oh. Oh. Platform. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on with the camera. <laughs> Is he going to do it? Ooh, he got me. <laughs> I was trying to counterattack with his crackle slap, but he got me. And at the edge of the screen, no less. <laughs> In these free-for-all battles, it's pretty... Oh, time's up. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, but let's put his Japanese name. Even though it says here. This stage is called Yggdrasil's Altar, and it's based on a location in Dragon Quest XI oh? S. One difference is that the platform I hate pronounced that very Super Smash Brothers. I mean, I'm used to saying Eudrasia from Tales of Symphonia, but okay. We're passing close by Cetacea. After that, we'll be able to see all of Erdrea. Erdrea, oh. The giant tree in the background is an important point in Dragon Quest XI S. You can see a taco walking by. While the taco is out there, some sort of platform will appear. I thought he said taco. <laughs> we just passed Arborea. And you can see what looks like a rainbow bridge. <laughs> and now we pass Havens above. So Dragon Quest-esque. I'm just reminded more and more on Blue Dragon. 
you'll see slimes appear in the background, but sometimes you'll see liquid metal slimes appear too. Those are really rare. Oh. As we pass Cetacea again, we draw near to the giant tree. Well, the giant's here in Martel. As we make our way up the tree, can't give away the tree, tree's true name now. If anyone gets that reference, we can see a light, which also appears in Dragon Quest XI S. Oh, is Celebi in there? And then we finally make our way back around. By the way, there's something over here. Sometimes a treasure chest appears at this stage, as you can see here. Can you interact with it? If you open it, you get an item. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. But it could also be a trap. Ouch. It's a mimic. Alrighty then. If you try your hardest, you might defeat it. You don't have to fight it, but if you manage to beat it... You'll get an item. <laughs> Work hard to get your stuff. Although Yggdrasil's altar is based on the world of 11S, I felt it would be unfortunate to have only one or two songs from that game. And? So instead, we decided to compile a collection of field and battle tunes for each hero. Here's what it looks like. Players who have an emotional attachment to specific music tracks can use the My Music key. So basically, each one of them gets the cloud treatment. Of course. Instead of Joker. Enjoy them by using the sound test feature. You won't be able to select the famous prelude that way. But the end of the prelude will play during the hero's victory screen. We've also added other content, including something for the spirits. Oh, this got leaked heavily. That got leaked. The spirits, anyway. Hero will be available on Tuesday, yep. July 30th. Ooh, so, so later on today, cool. If you have the fighter's pass, you should be able to get him right away. We're also planning to make him available individually for $5.99. Okay. We're also adding in new Me Fighter costumes. Please take a look. Oh, here we go. Here come the costumes. What we got? Uh, what you gonna do? Oh, Veronica. I thought that was a red link costume for a second there. Oh wow. Interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. A martial artist. Looks like some Dragon Ball Z. I should've known. I should've known. Okay. 75 cents each. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Along with Hero, the version 4.0 update will also be available. Uh-oh. Better get your replay saved. There will now be a time limit on the final smash meter. That'll make it harder to use your attack range to play a waiting game. So I think it's better to just oh, use wow. it when it's ready. Interesting. It will stick around for a while, and you'll be able to tell how long you have by looking at the meter, which will deplete over time. Oh, wow. New adventure mode difficulty? We're also adding a very easy difficulty to adventure mode. So if a battle is just too difficult for you to clear, or if you simply want to have a relaxing time playing, please try it out. Okay. <laughs> Oh, spectating mode feature? Another new feature will let you try and predict the winner during spectate mode. Then you can exchange the points you accumulate for an item. Even if mm. your prediction is wrong, there's nothing to lose, so I suggest supporting fighters to your heart's content. Alright. That might have something for a Nikendo. 
What we got online turning now? <laughs> Gambling bros, yeah, that's what I meant. Select the mode. The rules are preset, but they'll change periodically. I hope you enter these tourneys over and over. Wow. We also plan to hold special event tourneys from time to time. What's more, there are other new additions, like being able to insert screenshots into the videos you edit, and being able to consecutively play videos that have been added to shared content. Plus, there are new amiibo available now. Isabel, Pokemon trainer. <laughs> he just had that out of his desk all the entire time. Each one will be in a large package, so keep an eye out for them. Finally, the fighter known as Hero will be distributed soon, but Dragon Quest XI's Echoes of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition will release on September 27, so please check that out as well. We tried a live stream like format this time, but I'm still not sure if we will do this every time a new fighter is released. Regardless, I hope you have fun with Hero. See you next time. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, uh. <laughs> wow, that was it. Very, uh. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, there we have it. A live presentation of Hero and how his moves work. We got a release date and everything. Also along with the 4.0 update. Uh, when that happens, I believe tomorrow. According to Emonk Link. Uh, expect a video of some Hero gameplay. Well, I hope you guys enjoy my very bland commentary. <laughs> of the live presentation uh well it's just kind of early in the morning for me as i know it's very early in the morning in pacific time because it's supposed to be 6 a.m there it's nine o'clock here so yeah i'm kind of a little sleepy still but either way thank you guys so much for watching and as soon as zero drops expect the video real soon and it's, hopefully it's gonna be hype so this is Yeah, I'm gonna mute that. <laughs> Alright, this music just popped up out of nowhere as I'm trying to close out. Don't do that again. Well, anyway, guys, this is Master Gale. I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.